and yes, they were talking to us about yeah. their product. That's actually pretty intriguing to me. And they were really unhappy with the fact that people were taking their product and selling it for god awful more than it was than they should have been. They were basically Candice has a retail price, and people they because Candice turns out high quality stuff. They were taking their stuff and selling it higher than the suggested retail, and people were paying for it. Mm -hmm. But that generally means that the product is good and the product isn't the product is hard to get your hands on. Yeah, that's what it generally means. When it comes to mobile, uh, we can't help because we do a lot of three D we can't help but put three D cell phones on here. Oh yeah, we can guarantee the one at the top, um, is basically <laughs> we're talking it saved This our, is ours. It, it's ours. We've saved our rear ends a couple of times when we were in uh, at CEA basically, for example. We got overwhelmed with information, and our overwhelmed for information ran our batteries out on things. So we had to, we're using the cell phones to record sound on. Mm -hmm. And then the other day, we went out with our camera, and it was really I mean, all charged up, all ready to go. With only one minor problem. What was our, that? There was no chip in the camera. Oh yeah, what? How could that ever happen? Well, mainly because she didn't have any chips in the camera bag, and I had the other chips in my. Uh, and, and I actually was safe. I set it next to my, I set it underneath my PC so I wouldn't forget it and guess uh -huh. who left the 16 gig chips. Who would do something like that? The old guy. Uh huh. But I, I, I but generally we're, we, we're, we're covered for that because our camera bag has uh, chip holders in them. Mm -hmm. Guess what was not in the camera bags? Mm -hmm. So, but no, it's a, it's a good thing. we. Um, okay, you're, if you have a problem with the LG 3D camera, there's two reasons for that. One reason is that your chip that is with the camera is not fast enough to make the function work right, including the recorder. Mm -hmm. Second is because the battery really sucks like bad. I mean, it, it, you basically, you, you're drowning with that battery because this thing, I can basically do something and I'm down 30% on the battery power in no time whatsoever. So you, mostly the, the advice is, Carry your charging cable with you because it will charge off of any USB device. Mm -hmm. And two, buy another battery. They're not awful cheap. I think we got four of them or something. We but, got we got five of them for less than the price that you buy it in the store. Plus we got a couple of portable charging units, which mm -hmm. basically, you know, we're to we're a charging thing up in the control room. That's that that actually might be a, another thing on a top ten list is what a, a portable chargers. That will do multiple charging because we have those, and we're discovering how important it is in a in a battery we, world. We can add we can add that one. I think I would basically. Um, uh, we don't have a name for one, but that's just something that I would add at the bottom of the list is a portable battery charger that charges across the spectrum. Because I would there's also, there's actually I'm trying to think of the name of it. There's. I mean, you're familiar with those charging uh, I think mats. Duracell makes that one. You have the, the charging mats where you can set all the things, but for digital cameras, a lot of times you need the individual ones. Yeah. There's one, actually, it was introduced last year at CES where you just put your uh, camera battery in yeah. there and it, it um, works with various sizes, yeah, which yeah, I like. Because, uh, you know, I, we just came through thinking that, oh, what do you need that for? We've got all these different. Um, we've got all the different chargers, and you can only use it one at a time. Well, what happened was, is I grabbed and scooped everything to go on a trip, and, and, and that's the one I can't find. The camera and the NEX charger is the one we can't find. But we're, but we're sitting here, white battery charger is so important, we're sitting here next to a guy. He's got, he's using two separate charging grips because he's got seven different devices on him, seven. And we actually have 13 or 14 different devices that we use. There's no consistency in batteries, but there is a battery charger. Um, there's a battery charger, for instance, that lets you uh, put, okay, every battery, no matter what it looks like, has a plus and minus pole on it. It allows you to put, the, to put you know, right over the top of the plus and minus the, char the uh, poles for charging your battery, which I like. I charge things, I'm, she tells me, after I've been charging batteries, she tells me, that's only good for cell phones. You know, I'm I've been charging the other batteries with it. I'm sitting here looking at this list and I'm thinking maybe we should cut this for Yahoo and not have quite so many. We'll make it no, we, we don't, we have, no, we will. But we'll, they're they're in different categories. No, but what we'll do is that we're going to be what here's how many pages have we got? Seven. So, no, but you basically uh, increase the front size on it and basically have spaces in between. So okay. when I reduce the front size, okay, you're basically seeing discussions right now in front of you. But you wait. 
we want to show you why we're doing it on video and what we're doing it is going to come in three different forms a Yahoo version, our website version, and a YouTube version. The YouTube version is the biggest version because that's where we're. We're actually we're, discussing them. Mm -hmm. um, my second phone that I really like is the HTC Evo 3D because, yes, it's another 3D video yeah. camera. Um, oh, excuse me, 3D mobile phone. This one is only available on Sprint. Yeah, and it's a gaming phone for, you know, basically a lot of the gaming stuff is put on that one. But, uh, but that's the counterpart to the LG Thrill. This one's on Sprint. And there are a few differences, but I think for most people that like 3D, unless you really love 3D and want to go into the different differences, you're going to get one or the other based on the carrier you're on. Yeah, it's a carrier. We are with LG, we're with uh, AT&T and Sprint. Sprint has it. Sprint is our, our, our wireless, and AT&T is our phones, which is sort of weird considering, you know, according to the rules, no one uses a cell phone to call on anymore. Mm, we, yeah. Actually, we don't use the, use the message service, which could be done over off of Sprint also. But, uh, yeah. but you can't get the cell phone over Sprint, so. The next one I put on here was the Apple iPhone, their new one, which is the, what, the 4, is it the 4GS? Yeah, which basically has a battery problem. It was supposed to be the 5, they did the 4S, and it probably, they corrected a problem with the earlier version and then created a new problem because the battery was a software thing, which means everybody, I mean, um, they look at you weird, but you don't have an Apple. I, yeah, I know. I just saw my brother yesterday, and he said, I got an iPhone. I said, oh, okay. He says, well, everybody in the family has an iPhone except for you. I'm like, so? <laughs> well, she's the only one in the family that works in this family. Okay. Uh, just, we also, I'm also the only one in the family that works in the tech business. Yeah, you know, we're also, you know, we also don't have iPads. Yeah. So, but the people that have iPhones love them. And the people that, that don't have iPhones don't see a reason to get it. And, and, uh, and. It is, it's, it's what it is. It's an Apple product, but it's an Apple product going backwards. Mm -hmm. So right now it's still, actually it's no longer the type of the heat, but it's now underneath the smartphone. But mm -hmm. uh, the Apple, people that own Apple, I have an Apple, I have an Apple, I have a, a little hard shell Apple notebook. And when you, if you have an Apple computer, you basically tell everybody these are piles of junk. Mm -hmm. Because first of all, your Apple doesn't get viruses, mm -hmm. and it be, you know it basically does a lot more. But you there's no internal memory. The same as the phone. I mean, the uh, you you know. Uh, well, and for example, the phones that we have, we have them so we can put micro SD cards in it. Yep. <laughs> you can go up to 32 gigabyte. Actually, we can go up to 64 if you mm -hmm. get the new 64s. Mm -hmm. So that's which is one of the things that's not on the list that just came out recently is when the companies announced the 64. Oh, I know. Uh, Monster Cable is making things. We're saving that back to us. We, we can't put it on the list because we don't. We don't. Know. We don't know when it's coming out. So we can't put it on the list because we all we have is the basic information. It's got off the fastest chips you've ever seen in your life. Next is the Cobra Tag G5. Yeah. This one I like. Uh, we actually saw this introduced last year at CES. 2012 yeah, we interview the people at Pierre's too, so. And I love this because it uses Bluetooth um, to create a separation alarm when, <laughs> for example, she, your smartphones. She loses things a lot, folks. She really loses the phones. So she walks off and, you know, so she will, you know, can you call my phone and find out where it's at? Yeah, it's between your smartphone and your valuables. And you think, oh, you can just call your phone. Well, sometimes your phone's not always. I know. Um, the, it's not always on. Yeah, or you've turned the ringer down. To so, vibrate. So, and so if you don't call your phone, you can't find your phone. So this is my newest one that I'm really excited about that we'll be testing. Yeah, you, you got to get a chance to testing. You know, like she needed one for her earpiece because she lost one. I have no idea where my earpiece is. You know, we, we could put uh, on the list buying earpieces by the gross. You know, that's one of the things we put on here. Headphones, we put on earbuds. We did you not can, do can't find earpieces. Any, There's not that, that many. There's not that many, and uh, what works? I mean, uh, we know that we've seen some of these things die after a year. Mm -hmm. Because I mean, we've got some god awful expensive earpieces, and they just simply can't, actually, they won't hold a charge. So we don't want to certainly put them on, but. Uh, Oh, we've got the Kindle Fire and the uh, and the uh, Barnes and Noble um, Nook. 
So now, this, this category is e-readers and tablets, because this is how they typically refer to them. Yeah. Can, the Kindle Fire and the Barnes Noble Nook, we could not resist putting these on there, because these are catching everybody by storm. Yeah, I know, I'm just looking at the... No, but they, they said, okay, the, 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 they're putting a lot of features on the e-readers that are now tablet features, you know, mm -hmm. like... A, but it's all, it's, it's mostly cloud technology, and that's the problem. And they only come in with X amount of built-in memory because you're going to put everything on the cloud, which I'm going to tell people I got something last night which I'm not really thrilled about. What? Uh, because most people, you know, um, have, um, you know, QuickTime or iTunes on their thing. They basically uh, want me to install uh, a cloud device on my computer now. Oh, they do? Yep. They want me to install a cloud connection to do them on the thing, and I'm not, I, I rewrote a thing about the cloud. I don't like the cloud. Yeah, the cloud has a few privacy issues. Yeah, a lot of privacy Actually, issues. that's a major issue of privacy. But to get this thing, if you're not careful when you're doing your updates on iTunes or um, putting your brand new a QuickTime device in it, uh, what happens is it installs your cloud contact mm -hmm. then. So, I, I saw that real quick and made certain that didn't come on. Yeah. Um, the Kindle Fire is the one that's actually got a lot of attention. I think the price is like $199. And or the Nook like is that. like $250. But the Nook or was it, it, was it the other way around? No, Kindle the, Fire was the, $250? No, the Kindle Fire is $179 to $200. The new Nook is $250 uh, to a little upward. But they said the Nook was created to go after the Fire. The fire was created to go after the um, tablet, the tablet, and uh, Netflix and stuff, because uh, basically it hooks you up to Amazon Prime. Yeah. So, oh, you know what? The the restriction on the Kindle was that you had to do everything through Amazon. Yeah, and the no the the Noble will basically or do the Barnes and Noble Barnes and Noble Nook I think does Hulu and Netflix, uh -huh. and other other areas. So basically. It's uh, in a better deal, but uh, now we get to our other tablets, which is... Actually, actually, I'll put Sony, the Sony Tablet S1. This one is aesthetically gorgeous. It's got a little bit of an angle. Well, it's built, I, mean, I don't know, you can see this, how this is sort of built, at a, a rib underneath it. Mm -hmm. So does that one. It's, it's, it's just a, a beautiful piece. It was intended to compete against the iPad, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And it is, a, it's a... It does an awful lot, except for uh, it has a really it's it's lightweight because it's fragilely made and you can bust the screen really easy. I That's, think it's it's more intended for the tablet for the home. Yeah, it's when not I say that, to take out. Um, it because it's so it is so lightweight. It's PlayStation certified. They plan on you using it as a remote control. Yeah. for your television sets. It works with a lot of you know the Sony products obviously. Well, it's got, got a whole good picture on it really does. We sat there and saw videos being ran on it. The picture quality is really good. It's just a typical Sony. It works well in low light. Yeah. The yeah. Apple iPad, um, I know, is... It's actually, it, it, you know what? I'm actually kind of disappointed because everybody likes the iPad 2, but you know what? It's old, It's kind of old news. It's really yeah. the iPad 3, which isn't an out, out yet. Yeah, but uh, the, the basic problem, okay, like I said, people love Apple. You're not going to change an Apple person ever. But the apples have a, a basic problem that a lot, okay, a lot of the tablets have the same thing. It's internal memory or nothing whatsoever. That's the problem with the Sony, remember. The yeah. Sony has uh, a place for a card, but it isn't for storage. It's just for you to play off of. Yeah, the one that we liked, which is the one that we got, and um, ours went down and we had it replaced for the same one, which is a Motorola Zoom. And the reason we like that tablet, even though we like, there's a Samsung Galaxy tab, which actually is a very good piece of equipment, and I love the optics. But the Motorola Zoom allows you to put a micro SD card in there. And it's a card that you can basically save to. And mm -hmm. that's the whole thing. You, there's not enough space. I think everything is being designed so that it goes to the cloud. I don't want my stuff sitting on somebody's server in Pakistan. Well, and some of my other friends that are early Apple adopters, she was sitting there complaining about it. I'm going, yeah, early adoption stage is such a... <laughs> no, no, no. And pain because they're still trying to work everything out. And one of the things, when the thing went down, we're sitting there going, well, if you can get the internet access and you're on the cloud, guess what? 
Yeah. You can't access your files. And right unless now, unless it's whatever that's retained within it. And see, we're in a dead zone right now because we discovered a problem with systems. Is that uh, okay? This is a connected device. Mm -hmm. This is a connected device. All our cell phones are connected devices. Our printers are connected devices. And generally, the router that you have in your home is only good for three or four devices. Uh -huh. We count. We, we count with a normal family twelve. Mm -hmm. That's the minimum of a normal family. It's a modern family. It's twelve connected. Well, because you're talking about a desktop, a laptop, a smartphone, a printer. Yeah. There's four right and there. And television sets. Five. Refrigerator freezers. Well, maybe a lot of you don't have the refrigerator. But that's the TV all sets. the new ones are. Though we just LG just got an innovations award because of its thing. All your new TV sets are connected, and if you have more than one TV set, uh, and uh, and here's a. You know, setting it aside on my thing is another little damaging thing to uh, get using the internet because what it does, you say, well, I've closed my my expensive computer. Mm -hmm. Well, you don't take this out the side to think it turned back on on you. Yeah. And that's that that is that is the future of connection. This basically lets me hook up God awful anything to this computer because it's um, you know it's my Wi-Fi or Bluetooth connections and stuff so. Um, I know. But, so uh, now we're up to computers, hardware, and accessories. One of the things we first talked about was your Toshiba laptop, which we yeah. absolutely adore. 3D player. Yes. Of course, the problem is Toshiba satellite. It doesn't come turned on. Well, we did have to turn it on. I turned it on. They don't. They don't publicize it. They publicize it on the larger one, but not on the smaller one. But it is. It is there. All you got to do is switch the thing on. You got 3D. My God, it didn't take me much of an effort. Yeah. So. Lenovo also has the thinnest ThinkPad. Yeah. That one I really like because it's actually sized like an like a tablet. Yeah. But it's a ThinkPad. Yeah, which means it's... you've got a notebook that's sized like a tablet. Yeah. And the problem with uh, I would given okay, this thing weighs nothing. Some of the tablets weigh almost as much as that. Mm -hmm. This has uh, what is it, six hundred and fifty gigabytes of storage, uh, Blu ray drive in it and all kinds of other little peripheral things. Which tablets don't have? I don't have a tablet yet. I'm gonna I'll get one because she'll make me. You know, <laughs> she makes me but She makes me move. I, 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 okay, they will tell you flat out that most of the things on this list, people my age don't even bother with. They so, never know. I, well, I know why I should turn that. These are toys. I just figured out why I should turn that off. Part of this program is on my computer. Uh huh. <laughs> getting to. Next you know. thing is the Seagate GoFlex portable hard drive and I love this one because it is, yeah. I would show it to you, it's like about this big and it's really thin. Yeah. Um, but, it's, but, it's about as big as my smartphone. We lose it. We, yeah, that's true. We, 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 we <laughs> misplace it because it is so small. It's like a cell phone, folks. But it does work with the iPad. Yeah. Which was one of the big highlights. I'm like, well, why is it? I didn't realize that some of these don't plug in like in USB ports. Yeah. So, yeah. But we do sometimes. We have things we just don't know where they're setting. I did find it. Oh, good. Yeah. yeah. Next is the T by TP um, Link, which is TP Link. And I just discovered this one. Actually, you discovered this one. Yeah. Um, this is available late November. Yeah. And what is this? What's so cool about this one? Okay, is that the um, uh, one I've been calling the sharing drill band? Oh, yeah, I remember that one. That was a real neat thing right there, basically. Uh, it, oh, it's fast. For one thing, it's got off of fast and it's portable. 450 Mbps? Yeah, well, fast and portable. And we're, right now, I have to admit, we're having problems with our router. Oh, yeah, because of uh, our